In mathematics, an analytic function is a function that is locally given by a convergent power series. There exist both real analytic functions and complex analytic functions, categories that are similar in some ways, but different in others. Functions of each type are infinitely differentiable, but complex analytic functions exhibit properties that do not hold generally for real analytic functions. A function is analytic if and only if its Taylor series about x0 converges to the function in some neighborhood for every x0 in its domain. Definitions Formally, a function f is real analytic on an open set D in the real line if for any x0 in D1 can write in which the coefficients a0, a1, are real numbers and the series is convergent to f for x in a neighborhood of x0. Alternatively, an analytic function is an infinitely differentiable function such that the Taylor series at any point x0 in its domain converges to f for x in a neighborhood of x0 pointwise. The set of all real analytic functions on a given set D is often denoted by C omega. A function f defined on some subset of the real line is said to be real analytic at a point x if there is a neighborhood D of x on which f is real analytic. The definition of a complex analytic function is obtained by replacing, in the definitions above, real, with, complex, and, real line, with, complex plane. A function is complex analytic if and only if it is holomorphic i.e., it is complex differentiable. For this reason the terms, holomorphic, and, analytic, are often used interchangeably for such functions. Examples Typical examples of analytic functions are all elementary functions, all polynomials. If a polynomial has degree n, any terms of degree larger than n in its Taylor series expansion must immediately vanish to zero, and so this series will be trivially convergent. Furthermore, every polynomial is its own Maclaurin series. The exponential function is analytic. Any Taylor series for this function converges not only for x close enough to x0 but for all values of x. The trigonometric functions, logarithm, and the power functions are analytic on any open set of their domain. Most special functions, hypergeometric functions, Bessel functions, gamma function, typical examples of functions that are not analytic are the absolute value function when defined on the set of real numbers or complex numbers is not everywhere analytic because it is not differentiable at 0. Piecewise defined functions are typically not analytic where the pieces meet. The complex conjugate function zz asterisk is not complex analytic, although its restriction to the real line is the identity function and therefore real analytic, and it is real analytic as a function from r squared to r squared. Other non-analytic smooth functions. Alternative characterizations. If f is an infinitely differentiable function defined on an open set dr, then the following conditions are equivalent. 1. f is real analytic. 2. There is a complex analytic extension of f to an open set gc which contains d. 3. For every compact set kd there exists a constant c such that for every xk and every non-negative integer k the following bound holds the real analyticity of a function f at a given point x can be characterized using the FBI transform. Complex analytic functions are exactly equivalent to holomorphic functions, and are thus much more easily characterized. Properties of analytic functions The sums, products, and compositions of analytic functions are analytic. The reciprocal of an analytic function that is nowhere zero is analytic, as is the inverse of an invertible analytic function whose derivative is nowhere zero. Any analytic function is smooth, that is, infinitely differentiable. The converse is not true for real functions, in fact, in a certain sense. The real analytic functions are sparse compared to all real infinitely differentiable functions. For the complex numbers, the converse does hold, and in fact any function differentiable once on an open set is analytic on that set. 
For any open set omega c, the set A of all analytic functions u, omega c is a fresh A space with respect to the uniform convergence on compact sets. The fact that uniform limits on compact sets of analytic functions are analytic is an easy consequence of Maria's theorem. The set of all bounded analytic functions with the supremum norm is a Banach space. A polynomial cannot be zero at too many points unless it is the zero polynomial. A similar but weaker statement holds for analytic functions. If the set of zeros of an analytic function f has an accumulation point inside its domain, then f is zero everywhere on the connected component containing the accumulation point. In other words, if is a sequence of distinct numbers such that f equals zero for all n and this sequence converges to a point r in the domain of d, then f is identically zero on the connected component of d containing r. This is known as the principle of permanence. Also, if all the derivatives of an analytic function at a point are zero, the function is constant on the corresponding connected component. These statements imply that while analytic functions do have more degrees of freedom than polynomials, they are still quite rigid. Analyticity and differentiability As noted above, any analytic function is infinitely differentiable. There exist smooth real functions that are not analytic. See non-analytic smooth function. In fact there are many such functions. The situation is quite different when one considers complex analytic functions and complex derivatives. It can be proved that any complex function differentiable in an open set is analytic. Consequently, in complex analysis, the term analytic function is synonymous with holomorphic function, real versus complex analytic functions. Real and complex analytic functions have important differences. Analyticity of complex functions is a more restrictive property, as it has more restrictive necessary conditions and complex analytic functions have more structure than their real line counterparts. According to Liouville's theorem, any bounded complex analytic function defined on the whole complex plane is constant. The corresponding statement for real analytic functions, with the complex plane replaced by the real line, is clearly false. This is illustrated by also, if a complex analytic function is defined in an open ball around a point x0, its power series expansion at x0 is convergent in the whole open ball. This statement for real analytic functions is not true in general. The function of the example above gives an example for ex0 equals 0 and a ball of radius exceeding 1. Since the power series 1 minus x2 plus x4 minus x6 diverges for x greater than 1, any real analytic function on some open set on the real line can be extended to a complex analytic function on some open set of the complex plane. However, not every real analytic function defined on the whole real line can be extended to a complex function defined on the whole complex plane. The function f defined in the paragraph above is a counterexample, as it is not defined for x equals plus or minus i. This explains why the Taylor series of f diverges for x greater than 1, i.e., the radius of convergence is 1 because the complexified function has a pole at distance 1 from the evaluation point 0 and no further poles within the open disk of radius 1 around the evaluation point. Analytic functions of several variables One can define analytic functions in several variables by means of power series in those variables. Analytic functions of several variables have some of the same properties as analytic functions of one variable. However, especially for complex analytic functions, new and interesting phenomena show up when working in two or more dimensions. For instance, zero sets of complex analytic functions in more than one variable are never discrete.